Hi Roscoe here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video. I'm going to use the team Forest Fighting Squad using kind of one of my favourite pets at, at the moment anyway, the Gleam Hoof Fawn, the, the PP. So it hits like a truck and it's got that heal as well. I'm not using Bleat today. I think I had one of the other ones use Bleat. I've gone with Headbutt. Just get a bit more RNG in there. First stun. Um, the Forest Sproutling. And it's it's really it's it works really well with the fawn because you've got the refuge. So it's hard hitting in a mental ability. It's got the lash. And what kind of in, also enhances these pets even more is the royal pea chick. Now I think I've said in past videos I've not managed to kind of work out how to use this. I think maybe now I have uh, the only. The only kind of thing is, I mean, with this team I've been facing those eventual double vengeful porker pet teams, which um, are going to be 90, 95% of everything you you've put against them, unless someone specifically counters you. But yeah, I would say, so, and that's you did well against one, but then because they knew my kind of strat strategy. They were just powerballing until they were quicker than this, even with Dazzling Dance. I mean, they hit they hit hard anyway, so... But let's, let's see how this, this goes. There is some nice synergy. That Refuge really does work quite well on, on the Fawn. I need to swap these over. I'm going to start the, the Sproutling. I'm gonna perhaps expect what a, has a big AOE to come in or a big hit to come in. The AOE. I'm gonna go for my big hit. No, it's the same speed. I'm gonna bring in the fawn. We'll go for the damage here. Wow, this is hitting me hard. But I can get my heal up. That's probably the, the best move he could go for there. Unfortunately, I'm going to probably take the cool darkness on this. I'm not going to take the Nocturnal Strike. And now a pretty big hit is going to come in on, on this. And some more. It's now below the ratio. So it's my turn to get some good damage off. Again, anything is that cool darkness has hampered my Gleam Hoof Fawn's healing on the back there. I'll just go for the damage. I'm going to get my refuge up because I've on the Fawn as well. Now I'm going to use my big hit. Now the fawn has got his block or shield there. Should I go for the damage? I, I think it's pretty much kind of sewn up now. I can just keep going. I mean, I don't need to kind of mess around with. The heal or anything like that. I'm 
Yeah, so this it's quite it's, it's a fun kind of team. As long as you're not kind of against the, the tier one kind of elite pets. There's kind of like five or six pets that are just so 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 strong. And you should really do okay. Um do you want to swap these over? For now I'll, I'll leave it, I think. But yeah, I, I imagine this team will probably get a solid kind of 70% win ratio. Depends on the meta, really. Okay. Again, I mean, it's, it's quite... <laughs> A, is a bit trolly in that you can like refuge whatever their hits can be. I kind of expect perhaps like a cool blizzard. It isn't going to affect me, but I still expect something like that. Just go for some damage. Now that the Gleam Who Fawn's gonna have to take some some damage unfortunately. Let's go heal up. And I'm gonna go for my headbutt. That might get hard. And now I'll probably just send him to the back line to heal. Let's see one cast another one. I think he's gonna be able to heal enough. But that's not gonna be too bad. Although what what I think I could do is actually line up okay, wait for the stamina. A critter. I think that the refuge can actually take this hit. Yeah, let's let's find out. I don't want to kind of risk getting killed. So I watch up there. So I've got one man left. Just get some big damage. Should be going off now. Oh, that's funny. That's actually really, really good that he does that. Oh, I must have hit him the high end. No, I hit, I hit reasonably high. I'm gonna duke out the Curse of Doom here. I imagine the stun might come down. Now this should get the kill on him. I'm going to fill my heal up. And just slowly kind of damage it down. Of course I lose my type advantage. Now swap to this pea chick, get the dazzling dance up. Now I think I should be able to get him low enough now that I can just finish it off with a headbutt. Yeah, almost certainly, you know. Yeah, so this, this gleaming fawn. I love that it's a critter. Because obviously those stuns and things like that. You can intentionally take them.
Let's see if I can do five wins. I think I've done two so far. That's that's quite a, a good thing to know that the refuge will take a curse of doom. I've never I I've never tried that out actually. So I don't play refuge very often. But that is actually really useful to know. Because say you go up against a Valk, you can kind of take the Haunt and the Curse of Doom on that. And then throw your Refuge up at pretty much any time. Before it goes off, obviously. And, um... You're not going to take that damage. Wow, that's actually really quite useful. Okay, so I have played this team already. So this is where I wish they were switched. I'm gonna use my fast spell though. Let's go for a big hit. I never thought I'd have anyone run away <laughs> run away from this team. Um but I guess guess I have. Maybe I'm kind of underrating these. I mean, the fawn's good. It's probably tier two. The pea chick is tier two. The spoutling is probably tier two. I guess the synergy that's in the team just works really quite well. So I feel bad. Like I try and queue teams that people aren't going to run away from. But. I, I guess the matchup as well. Okay. I'm gonna hope he starts with the wicked soul. Let's just see what I can get for the damage. I think swapping you to the P chick, it's not going to be good against the Whelpling. Oh, he's running the, the claw as well. Yeah, no, I, I kind of expected that. See, this is where I wish I had the, the refuge. He's still going to have to go for that Arcane Storm. So I'll get my Dazzling Dance up. So I'm going to take one hit here. I think throwing the heal up and then potentially swapping is going to serve me best. Swapping to this guy. Though his racial is going to proc, I can use refuge. It's a clever use of it. Let's just go for some damage. Go for some more. And now the Gleam Hoof should be able to potentially tidy this guy up. We'll do just enough. I'd love a swap to the Wicked Soul. Wow, I mean the terror claw is on full health. It did have claw though, actually. I still think that would have been very close. I did say five wins, but I'll get one more kind of proper, proper game in. Should I? I can't. No, actually, I want to. 
a shorter video. A lot of them have been fairly long. No, I can probably probably fit one more in five minute one. Hopefully so. So I speed. I mean, this seems on like a, a crazy, crazy thing. Yeah, I actually, I will. I'm trying to do swap these over. I think that will serve me better. Just got the refuge there. If I in that last game, I could have potentially taken. Two hits from that. Well playing. Except keeping this guy alive against a terrible was really useful with that dazzling dance. Although he's going to be the pet that follows me around now. Look at this guy. Yeah, but as I hadn't done this, not the vet, no, not the very best. What we've been training for, I hadn't done it, so I'll get that done quite quickly, hopefully. I need to do that warlords weekly as well. Um, let's go to off to my. I'll do, I'll do it later. There's no point doing it now. I want to wait one more quick battle. I got him off. The fast fighting squad. She scared everyone out of the queue, potentially. Uh, I think it's just the synergy with this that works really well. The healy nature of this guy. It's like, is this about 700 healing that he gets back? Five rounds, including the first application. So it's actually six rounds. It's more than that, it's like 800 ish. It's a lot of healing. I don't know how well this would do against kind of your stronger meta pets. Like a, a phosphor rat would do fairly well. The Gleeve Fawn would definitely cause it some problems though. Not for stun, but for <laughs> with the damage. I have thought about perhaps running it with a stampede. If you get that up and then you stampede and it kind of tanks it. Maybe. Can I find similar to this? Find similar. Yeah, I'll do it like this guy as well, these guys. I mean, I got this four and I went and caught kind of all the other similar kind of things. Trank isn't as good really. So here's another one. This could be okay, it's got good speed. Rescued for them. It's another one that could be okay. I need to level it, I don't think I've got any stones. This is one I see quite a few times in my, my queue recently. 
It does, it does well. It does really well against me, actually. Okay, so here's the, the quick battle five, five minutes later. Okay. Yeah, I can, can take quite a few um, haunts or hits or whatever potentially coming here. Let's refuge, see what he does. That's the Curse of Doom. No, he's, he's gone for that. Let's, I'll get some good damage on him. He actually could be running the Unholy Ascension. Luckily, I do strong damage to him. I think the Welp Blings in the Call be potentially the biggest trouble. Let's go to reapply this. Yeah, it is. I'm going to see if one of these kind of two round abilities which she comes in. No. I can get a good hit off here. Now I'll refuge it. I think I'm going to get the damage off and then refuge it off the, the fawn as well. She's gone for the heal. It's good because the whole time he's potentially using up these. So it's Proxy's Racial. In comes the Gleam Hoof. Let's go for the stun. Hit hard. I'm going to get the kill here. I'm going to throw the heal up. He's probably going to run from flag. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be okay. It's just going to take me below my flying, is it? No. Up goes the Dazzling Dance. I think it's a good game. Just get some damage off here as much as I can. Bring this guy in. Refuge. Now, go for the big hit. Give some more damage here. Unfortunately, buddy, you'll be slower. And I've got the block up. And the type. Cool, so yeah, that's... I think that's five. Five wins as well. So, I think that's five. Um, three, or maybe six. I, I don't know how many actually. But yeah, I hope you've um, enjoyed this. I really like. I like this team. I think this is going to be my kind of go-to team, just to perhaps start the day with. It's really fun. There's the synergy is very good between these two. PGX got it as well, so because now I've swapped this, you could potentially kind of duke out a lot of stuff. Fane Death, you duke out Haunts or Curse of Dooms, the Refuge <laughs> to the Fawn, and then maybe take some damage on the Fawn, Nature's Ward. So it's it's a cool team, it's really, really quite a cool team. 
Um, thank you for for watching. Hope you like this this team as much as I do. I really like it. So I'll, I'll see you in the the next video.